they said it couldn't be done. You know? So he didn't switch. He, he didn't try to pick up a pocket Pikachu. You know, he Yoshi all the way. And it is a Pika Ditto that we're seeing between these two. Great very, punch out there. Yeah, it was very nice to kind of waited it out to put pressure on that shield. Both players. They, I think they each were thinking the other one was going to the ledge. Exactly. So they both played it safe. Didn't know if they were going to be the first one to get to the ledge. If they indeed went to the ledge or both went to the ledge. So Taco's playing green. Mika. Hero always plays red. Yep. And I think Taco's mostly plays green. Yeah. Oh! Ooh, the turnaround. Yeah, the slow turnaround. Too many people won't use that. Nope. Yeah, and. Uh, I didn't know if he was going to have enough time for a grab and or an up smash or anything. And had enough time for an up smash and knew it. I think that window was pretty tight. And the range was pretty tight. I think he was at pretty far at the end of that range. That's a, a tech error there. Good reverse bear. That's the best thing to do in that scenario. Um, an up tilt when you're facing them. If you really want to get the, the furthest knockback, you got to get that reverse bear. Tacos really loves that running turnaround. Yeah. Stuck in shield. You know, that's a gamble that you take, right? Like, you presume people might. Uh, are they going to react early? Yeah. yeah, are they going to react before you do your sort of slow fall after the apex of your jump down air, right? Yeah, that's probably the next evolution of the meta. We see people sort of reacting to that. Because most of the time they shield thinking you're going to hit them on the way up through the platform. Yeah. Oh. Taco's up staying at one speed. Good. Yeah, he stays at that one speed, that fast speed, and Kiro calls him out with that up tilt. Oh! Woo! Yep. Very nice. Oh, no Z cancel gets that little push. On that forward air, peak of forward air, you get a push with no Z cancel. Oh, good recovery. Oh, oh millimeters of each other there. Oh, uh -huh. Taco's tries to run it for the grab, but he can't yeah. get it. Hero with a stock lead. A lot of the time with Pika Dittos, it's similar to that Pika Falcon thing, right? Where the character who tries to grab first is going to get grabbed because they extend their hurt boxes. Yeah. So it's anybody's game right now. Really tight. Oh, that upward DI. Yeah. That's yeah, least He wanted, I think, an up smash extension, but he couldn't get it. Trade. Oh! Tacos gets just. Swarmed by Hero. Good coverage of the plat with that up air. Goes for the duck, doesn't get it. Great angle there. Oh! They <laughs> intentional? Did they both? I think they. Tacos looked like he was about to start the dash attack. Yeah, he did, right? Tacos is playing a little. Um, oh! Oh, great! Up air by Hero to get out of this. I thought Tacos was going to be able to follow up with two nares. Tacos. Not a good trade for Tacos, who's off the... Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. And he probably could have waited a bit to do that up B, but he wanted to beat Kiro back, you know? Yeah. The problem right now uh, is it seems like Kiro... Well, Tacos has the uh, tendency to almost rush some of these things. Like right. His, uh, oh, oh, good up B. Hesitation. Oh, that might be enough. Looks like Kiro yeah. is about to pull out an up air. And but still an even game, which is odd because it feels like Kiro is pretty much in control of this game. We saw Tacos do that before. I think in his match against Boom, attack the person right when they're coming off the top, uh, the respawn platform, in invincibility. Don't know what's going through his head when he tries that. Great angle there. Oh, the Nair! Run off there. Call out. Good. Oh, a nice little there from yeah, horizontal to vertical switch up. Oh, the Nair beats out Hero's follow up to his forward air. Uh oh. That's going to be really hard to get back from, but Wispy's blowing. Oh, doesn't matter. Yeah, that'll do it. And it's a little Tacos. tricky to get that back air. You need to be pretty quick with that DI that Kiro had. Kiro's not looking happy with himself, huh? No, I, like I said, I I mean, personally, as an you know, objective viewer, that looked like Kiro was in complete control of the game. And Tacos was yeah. getting, like, you know, fortunate hits here and there. But Staying in it. Yeah, like, clawing back and then 
he had a favorable moment. And that, that's, that can take a toll on your mentality when you feel in control and all of a sudden you, you lose look the game and, and it's like, yeah. what the hell happened? You know? Look at uh, Isaiah right now. I wish the camera would pan over there. Um, we've got Isaiah coaching Kiro. I wonder what the coaching is like. And tacos. It's, it's always weird when the other person's getting coached and you don't have a coach. You know, it's like he's sort of sitting there and you're just like, all right, waiting out for you're getting strategies to beat me. You're just waiting it out. It's like, you know, that awkward kind of feeling when people are singing happy birthday to you and you yeah. just can't do crap until <laughs> until it's over. He's loosening up his wrists a bit. So Kiro goes back into his headphones. Kiro likes to play with some music in his ear. We'll have to find out what he listens to. I think he listens to just like the Bee Gees. <laughs> well, you got to. I use my walk from the wall and my that would be actually hilarious if you did. That would be hilarious. It's probably like so. I play really well because it's such a confidence boosting song. Nah, he's probably playing like, you know, his normal indie rock and skater emo garbage. Skater emo. <laughs> but. Uh, oh, tech error. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and that F arrow just get there before that back air comes out to spell trouble. Great recovery. Absolutely. If he would have went high first, Tacos was ready for it. Great. <laughs> Single zip. Yeah, nice fade back. <laughs> and that that's actually you really need to be um, aware of like what your opponent is doing there. Like the single is always an option, but you have to see where your opponent goes, you know? When you see him start to run away, just don't hit the other direction. Right. Yeah. As the person doing the zipping. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you see them going for the top lat, just stop zipping. You did one. You're there. You're, you're home. Uh, gets into it. So he's... Ooh, he got a lot of DI. His little electric rat was right on Kiro's body, but not enough to touch the stage. So Kiro with an... Oh, and, you know, that turnaround. Man, and that's kind of a shame... You hate to see it happen, as they say, <laughs> because he had a speaking. yeah he had a nice lead there and just kind of blew it during invincibility with a bad up B, kind of a weird nair there too. Yeah, but that'll bounce him off the stage. Oh, good get up attack. He read the read the roll yeah roll read the attack. Away. Oh, Ooh. oh, Taco. Both players making very odd tech errors right now. Yeah, and Kiro with, it, with another one too after that. He tried. He wanted a jab grab. He just does a single jab. Like, poke. The push off with the effort. Ooh, Ooh the bait. Was that? It, he uh, knew he wouldn't be able to reach it, so he turned around and threw out that, you know, back air in case Kiro committed. What spacing there? Yeah. Isaiah's nodding. No, oh, Kiro, the ledge cancel. baby. Oh, Taco was crouching, maybe looking for that down tilt. Hero doesn't get that single zip. Man, good single zip. Both these players have had some opportunities to go ahead by a stock in this, you know, three stock moment. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That, okay, so Kiro has said before, you know, like just little things like, um, it's 2016. Why am I still falling on with on uh, Yoshi's up tilt? Yeah, you know, and exactly. This is one of those mo like if you're on the top plat and they're on the bottom plat and you just fall at them and you get hit by an up tilt, like that's your fault and that's like a D3 player move. Yeah, um, yeah exactly. It's not at, at this level, um, but occasionally it's gonna work, like all things, right? So there's time and a place. Yeah, that's the beauty of the game. But and then Kiro getting up off the platform right after that had happened, he tried like a rising nair. It just didn't look like the right move. Beautiful it's there. It was beautiful there. Uh, uh, that, that second zip wasn't probably wasn't necessary. I don't know. Maybe he would have fallen down. These guys look so evenly matched, don't they? They yeah, they really do. But they both do seem to be playing a little sloppier than they typically both are capable of. Yeah, lots of tech errors. Ah, uh, like jab, jab you know, but not grab. Yeah, just a lot of little little things. This good zip zap recovery. Oh, uh, that's nice. He expects that ledge hop right away. So that's a really good call out from Tacos. Um, that up smash, not facing, facing away up smash, 
the back end of it. Sort of works as an up tilt, but it reaches low. Yeah. Um, if you so get hit with the front, you die. If you get hit with the back, it's an edge guard. Exactly. Or or you die. Yeah. An easy, you know, back air combo. So he expected an an immediate ledge hop. He was right. Ah, and then Tacos does the same thing. Falls on the up tilt. Yeah. that kill? No. Uh, that was strange. Yeah, he could have done, he could have had a back throw, I guess, but that probably wouldn't have killed either if that... Oh, an edge hog. Now, in this particular game, uh, I feel like Tacos has been the one in more control. And Kira seems like he's making a lot more tech errors than he normally does, too. So we've seen a lot of just jabs, yeah. right? At least twice. That's nice when you when you have your back to them and, and they're kind of waiting on getting that guy. SDs. Yeah, big tech error here and Kira with a chance to bring it back here. Oh. Oh, oh the jam grab wow. misses, but it doesn't matter. Oh man, just gets over that back air. And that'll uh, do it. Uh, yep. Taco was takes game two. So Kiro I was right in it, but I know he, he can't feel happy with himself. I don't think on that one. He's got to be feeling a little bit of frustration. Yeah, he, talk to Isaiah a bit. Maybe calm his nerves and figure out. I mean, obviously the tech errors will help. Avoiding the t tech errors will never help. Obviously <laughs> reducing the tech errors will help, right? Yes. But maybe he can get some insight from Isaiah as well on kind of where he can win in the neutral. And he didn't seem a like he was... A big part of it is his tech errors, honestly. They're it leading was, to right? punishes that are get that unnecessary damage. Yeah. And then, like, you, you know you're going to get called out on edge guards, you know, often. You know it... Or, not often. You know you're going to get these hits, right? You're going to get punished. Right. But don't give them an inch so they can take a mile. Don't yeah. allow yourself to, to miss a Z-cancel to do this, you know, just simple Actually, jab. Actually, just jab, yeah. At, because that's 40% more that you would not have had. Right. Um, so really, if you clean up your tech and you're playing damn near flawlessly, you're not going to get uh, damn to edge guard to, to the same amount. Yeah, it, exactly. It's going to. It's so basically, it's contributing to a lot, yes. you know. And he, he's having to force himself into difficult recoveries, where maybe it's like, oh, that's a great recovery, but he shouldn't have been there in the first place, right? See, that's such a, it's so strange, like, you really have to be on your toes when you do the F air, when you land it. Really living in the moment to figure out what the next move is, because depending on their DI, it's hard to know who has the advantage. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it changes, you know, it's, it's very volatile and, oh, such back good throw. spacing for tacos. Just hides under that back air and turns around and grabs him. Kiro's really kind of shook. No, he's, uh... Yeah, he took a moment to compose himself. We saw him do a jab grab, too, when he respawned, just to be like, all right, let me get this rhythm back in my hands. And strangely, I mean, when we uh, were doing the seating, you know, we were trying to decide Kiro or Tacos, like, who would have the higher, you know, seed. Right. And Tacos, oh. you know, didn't really have a great year. And I think the one event they were both at together, Kiro outplaced him. But right. ultimately, you know, due to Kiro's six or eight month retirement, uh, we decided affected him more. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's that over the limit of the spacing was so beautiful. So Kiro's right back in this here, down 2-0. And there's a very nice follow up to his F air there. About an uncharacteristic. Uh, Tacos with a weak though. nair on tech. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no grab there, but he'll put it out there just in case. Oh. Kira with a couple good defensive up Bs, you know, a secondary aerial. That's, I'm, I'm sorry, not up B, defensive uh, up air. Yeah. Oh, great forward air, just at the... Getting hit by that is the most frustrating thing. <laughs> it is frustrating, but and Kira's been very good. Uh, good turn, good recognition to know he needed to turn around. We've seen a few times this set where Kira's recovering. Oh, that's what a great recovery. Yeah. Oh, man, Tacos is really Here we go, on Kiro. point with those ledge cancel jumps. Not there, though. He doesn't, he he doesn't have a uh, jump. 
Oh, what a great yeah. recovery. Kira with a good down tilt to call him out on the immediate ledge hop. Kira Salvages really, that uh, edge edge guard, right? He needed that. He desperately needed that he stock. If, did it, if it turned around, you know. Oh, yeah. I it would have been, been bad so for hard. His, uh, his mentality and confidence. Exactly. Going forward. That deflating. This <laughs> that we were talking about. Oh, a couple of quick. That's a guaranteed. I think. Or, or at least oh, this is a big combo. Hero oh. quickly looking to take a huge lead here. Back throw will kill. That's gonna do it. Yeah. Three, wow. One lead for Kiro. Beautiful stock for Kiro. And just think he could have been down if you didn't hit Nick with that forward air coming up from the ledge. And then a huge combo this last stock. Put himself nice. in an edge guarding position oh, to take it. Okay. So Tacos looking to close it out, but Kiro now in game three with an extra stock to play with because of some amazing play. And loser gets seven. Ooh, tries the run through grab again. Oh, back. Yeah, back he here. plays it safe. Doesn't look for anything too big. Dash Good attack. dash attack. Ooh, Kiro's looking Kiro's to take this game for a right GB3. here. Ooh, and Tacos we'll with another it. good pullback. 92 is going to be really we'll hard do to get back from. But now, again, so, you know, when you're up a stock in Pika Dittos and you're both pretty low, uh, it's so hard for the player who's at a disadvantage just because they, that's, that's it. Yeah, it's, it's chippy. so hard to come back because you have to poke and run. You have to land aerials. And then yeah, and you can't trade, or you're, it's an edge guarding situation, you know. Yeah, and you're not gonna, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna take no damage. You know, it's very hard. To, <laughs> you're to gonna take no damage. Yeah. You're gonna get poked with straight forward airs, and there, it's gonna happen. Right. So when you're both just taking that damage, you know. You're gonna hit zero first. If you're yeah, that's person, a hard, you know. hard point to come back from. Like if he would have, if he would have, you know, started off that stock better. I mean, one stock's one thing, but to be at one stock and a hundred percent with a low percentage Kiro on with two stocks left, that's pretty tough. So this is where Taco's character viability comes into play. He can go Falcon. He can go Yoshi. He has options here. Uh, he, yeah, yeah, he can. He can. I don't think he's gonna switch. Um, Though Kiro looked in control, for the most part, that game, I think Kiro had a few big combos. Kiro, there was a moment there, and we, I mentioned it during the match, but you know, Kiro had a very nice recovery, and Takos was trying to edge guard him. He used like a, an up air or a back air, and Kiro was able to poke him last second with that forward air. Uh, he took the stock, then he had a big combo. Takos is capable of some big combos himself, and it just, just happened to not go his way. I don't think he feels like he's outclassed or anything or needs to switch it up. Obviously not, because they're in it, but that's going to be his mentality. You know, he still, Takos feels he's the better player. Absolutely. He, and he's always felt that. Yes. And Kiro feels he's the better player. And that's the cool thing about this match. They're, you know, they respect each other, but they both believe in themselves and think they're the better player. Great up there. Jab grab. Right? Yeah. Nice jab. <laughs> oh, runs through. Ooh, tacos. Tacos is evading these hits just crouching, amazingly. Trying to get that. Oh, now that I, good recovery. Honestly, Kiro. I think those moments are the, probably the best moments in this game where it's like just little things like that. The little avoidances. Yeah, those little, that, that little micro duck. spacing. Yeah, yeah the, the duck. little duck. The little just, pullback. Yeah, just missing each other. Now oh, that little pullback there. That's a truly reactionary game that is so hard to, to play, and it just looks amazing. Yeah, he tried to duck under that one too, but Kiro didn't use that forward air at the beginning of his jump, so he's able to land some hits. Kiro, Kiro using the forward air really effectively. Stock lead for Kiro, and you know, again, he doesn't really... Oh, he's racking up damage. This is damage Tacos cannot take. Man, that's an... Oh, and Tacos was going for a down tilt, but a, Kiro dropped far enough. That's a kill. Kiro up 4-2, and you know all that—that that was just a bad play for Tacos. He got. Yeah, he's being overzealous now. He's coming. He's really coming in hard. He's not being cautious. It's like he's—he's he's getting a little frustrated. Get up attack the battle cow. That'll take the first. Kiro was all over the ledge there, and Tacos made him pay for it. Oh, there's reverse that. Forward, yeah. Oh, Ooh, good DI. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> yeah. All this reversing. 
Oh, tries a jab grab from really far out. Oh, interesting. Maybe Tacos didn't mean to full hop there. Ooh. Kiro almost calls him out on that recovery. Uh, goes back to what I'm saying. All this oh. damage. No. Tacos floating in and out of range. Avoids that up smash from Kiro out of shield. Yeah, smart to just use the back air. Oh, oh that, great. That looks like tacos. <laughs> that was such a good recovery from Kiro. Tacos got answered. Yeah. And now, I mean, again, a three stock lead for Kiro. How is Taco supposed to come back from this if he could do it? With Falcon, so maybe, good. next match? <laughs> yeah, like, now I, I, don't, I wouldn't be surprised to see Tacos just not want to do this again. Well, let's see. He's not out of it yet. It's uh, If he can get a zero to death, you know, you're in, he's still in it. Yeah. This is just so difficult. Oh, great, great single zip. But this is what we saw last game, right? He, he got a lot of percentage tacked on like in right his now, last stock. 60. Not as much as before, but... Uh, 70. And that might... That's well, be a this now, now it's looking pretty... Pretty grim. Pre pretty bleak. Oh. Unless... Oh, he sips uh -huh. under it. Very nice. That's crap. Yeah. Kiro with great spacing. That's the second time he caught Tacos coming in with an overextended back air. Yeah, that last time was a go was gorgeous as well. So Kiro takes game four. And Kiro looks in control now. So two games in a row where he really looks in control. Tacos has got to get the wheels back on. Um, things have really come undone a bit in these past two games. You know, two stocks both times. Whereas I think Taco's victories were a bit closer. Can't remember game one now, but yeah, it, well, game one was Joey's game until Taco's like snatched it from his hands. That, that's right. So maybe Taco's is better off trying the Falcon, trying the Kirby. Ah, uh, not Yoshi, the Kirby. Absolutely not the Kirby. Probably not the Yoshi I, either. I think. Or does he stick with the Ditto? I, I, it doesn't look like he's changing. You know, he hasn't pulled his hand off the trigger, right? No. So, I mean. There they're going. Oh no! Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> that last second switch. And I mean, this is what you have to do. Right? Yeah. You, you can't. You just lost two in a row in the deal. Yeah, you're not feeling, not feeling it. At least now you'll, you'll know. Would now, it have worked out if I switched to Falcon? And if it goes miserably, <laughs> you know. Janitor took a game off Kiro um, because he was just a. Joey said he was a madman just running and up smashing. He that's is. what Tacos likes to do. Yeah. So. You know, if, if Joey gets smothered here by Tacos, this might be enough to get Tacos to leave, you know, the game. But Kiro is so methodical in this. Uh, he doesn't like the matchup, but he said he has to learn it. And he's improved at it as well. Um, oh, and he waits oh, that, there. Kiro, great now, time. Great see. reaction, right? To yeah. Now we're going to see, though, if Tacos is going for down airs. I was playing Kiro this end. He will tend to um, up tilt, perfect reaction time on up tilt with like an approaching down air from Falcon. Joey will. Yeah. Kiro will, yeah. This could be a stock. Yes. So the Tacos. pace of this has been pretty slow though. For Pika Falcon, this hasn't been moving super quick. Ah, and he lets the wind help a little. And that stock went fairly quick. Yeah. So that Kiro. Was, Kiro, that was Tacos getting punished by invincibility, which he can't afford to do. So three stocks will determine who is the winner of this set. One of the closest matches uh, we've seen. Two Whoa, really closely matched players. Now, here's the thing. Tacos has overextended a few times with his aerials with Pika. I just saw there, it almost looked like he overextended with his grab with Falcon. Now, if, if oh, yeah, he does he that like three he... times, he's dead. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's playing very cautiously. The pace of this one is moving. He is throwing out that up there, though, and that's something that um, Falcons can do. Boom was telling me about it. And yeah, got it from zero. Oh, oh the it works really well against uh, Pika's trying to aerial. That up there was amazing from Tacos. Is that going to do it? Yeah, Tacos again takes it off the up B. Oh, oh, the really nice. Wait, waits out that back air. He's 
Kiro manages to run through and doesn't get grabbed, but... Kiro down a stock here, having trouble finding his way in, but he's taking his time, and obviously Taco's taking his time as well. Falcon's so such a short fast up character. There, so good. Because you can, you can throw it out and then, like, you know, fade back or get a grab if people comes in. They can't grab you if you jump. Or... Right. Hey, basically, guys, talk to Zero. Zero might have some secret knowledge, some secret info for you. Kiro not throwing out a lot of aerials, whereas, like, Taco is. So, Pika players... Oh, oh, yeah, and that defensive up, oh. up air, it's, it's really it's, not that great if you landed even at Falcon with low percentage. It's yeah, scary. It'll, it'll get you off, though. You know, it's like just it's like popping somebody with a jab. Yeah. Know? It's like this is... But they're still in your wheelhouse, so, so yeah. don't sleep yet. You know, like... Ooh. Ooh. Was that a shield jump? I No, it wasn't. It was just an amazing jump away. Oh, but... <gasps> the get-up attack! Oh, how, that, that, that was, how did that not hit? What an exchange, and Kiro's back 2-2. Two to two. This is such a tight set. And can you believe the length of this match right now? The yeah, amount of Falcon Pika does not take this long. But we've seen like four hits. <laughs> no. Oh, oh the, that drop, the wind. Was that a wind drop there? <laughs> oh, he tried to jump to drop. Oh. Oh. Wow. Top was again. He landed that up air that time, but it wasn't enough. Didn't push him far enough. Yeah, so Taco's on his... Tournament stock here. Gets back air. Kiro pushes him away with that back air, and every hit Tacos takes is just—it's bad, right? I mean, is it die at because zero? zero you kind of die anyway. I mean, it <gasps> oh, oh and that could do it. That it looks like. Oh, oh, Tacos he makes it back. To get Oh my goodness! He oh. down there and he gives it. He gives misses it away. him with that down. So close! What a set these two. Kiro tacos. with the reverse 3-0 on tacos. Tacos oh, right there, man. completely blue. He had. He didn't need the down. Joey was what only at 40. So what does he do? Up so after 